This video discusses the client view, which is available in the advanced user interface for all wireless LAN controllers running release 8.1 or above. The client view provides general information about the selected client in addition to its assigned policies, connectivity state, top applications, performance metrics, mobility state, as well as various troubleshooting tools. The general section provides all the important information pertaining to the selected client within a single view. This includes basic information such as the client username, host name, MAC address, association time, device type, connected SSID, connected AP, and the nearest APs that hear the client. A useful feature is that the connected AP and nearest AP include the signal strength at which they hear the client which is useful for troubleshooting coverage holes or locating sticky clients. Note that the AP names are clickable, providing cross-navigation to the AP view if desired. The General Information section also provides performance and capability information for the client. This includes the current signal strength, signal quality, connection speed, channel width, radio type, and the number of supported spatial streams. Note that the signal strength and signal quality values are color coded to indicate the health of the connection. Also note that this is the infrastructure's view of the client's signal strength and signal quality. One unique feature that is provided in a general view is the connection score. The connection score provides an indication as to how well the client is connecting to the wireless network based on the AP's configuration and capabilities compared to the client's com capabilities and con current connection rate. Clicking on the connection score opens a connection score view that allows you to visualize how well the client is connecting to the AP based on the AP radio's maximum configured rate, the client's maximum supported rate, and the client's current connected rate, the connection score is based on these values. The number of spatial streams supported by both the AP and the client, note that this information is only available in the connection score. The channel width supported by both the AP and the client, Each section includes a help bubble, which can be clicked to, for additional explanation. The client's actual rate and connection score are also color coded for convenience to indicate the health where red indicates a poor connection and green indicates an excellent connection or good connection. The connection score view is a useful feature to quickly visualize why a client is not connecting to its full potential. For example, it can be used to quickly determine why a brand new 802.11ac free spatial stream client is not currently connecting at its full 1.3 gigabits per second rate. For example, let's say the 802.11ac radio that is, the client is currently connected to is configured to use a 20 MHz channel instead of an 80 MHz channel. This tool can quickly provide this information. The connection score tool can also be used to identify misbehaving client drivers. For example, a client that should be capable of supporting two spatial streams but is currently connecting to the AP using a single spatial stream. This tool would allow you to identify these clients. Here are some additional connectivity score view examples. The current connection state of the client is displayed at the top of the client view and can quickly allow you to determine if the client is fully connected to the wireless network. A bubble is provided for each phase of the connection which will turn green upon completion a black bubble indicates the client has not completed a specific phase, where a green bubble indicates that the client has completed the specific phase. The 
connectivity state visualization is useful as it allows you to quickly identify clients that are experiencing issues. For example, if mul multiple clients are stuck in a DHCP phase, this could allow you to redirect troubleshooting activities to determine why the clients are unable to obtain network addressing from the DHCP server. The Mobility State Visualization allows you to visualize the full data path of the client's traffic for both centralized and FlexConnect deployments. This is a useful tool when troubleshooting client connectivity issues as you can quickly visualize the end-to-end -end path the client traffic is taking through the wired network before it is forwarded onto the wired network. The Mobility State View includes each device within the data path of the traffic. This includes foreign, anchor, and guest anchor WLCs. The AP mode is also displayed to identify locally switched traffic for FlexConnect deployments. Here are some mobility state visualization examples for a client connecting to a standalone WLC, a FlexConnect client connected to a FlexConnect AP, a client in a layer free mobility state where the client traffic is going from, through a foreign anchor controller, and then finally a guest client connected to a anchor controller that's deployed in a DMZ or isolated part of the network. Finally, the client view displays the network, security and policy, and QoS details for the client. The network section displays the client's current network addressing, VLAN, and mobility role, while the QoS section displays the client's WMM status, power save status, and assigned QoS metal level. The security and policy section displays the WLAN security requirements along with any policies such as ACLs or roles that have been applied to the client session.